<laughs> no, no, don't stop, sir. It's coming. It's definitely coming. I... Yeah. <laughs> I just wonder whether two socks and a hand grenade is really the sort of thing the covers of King and Country are made of. They will be when I've painted them being shoved up the Kaiser's backside. <laughs> ah, now, now, this is interesting. What is? Well, Private Baldrick is obviously a bit of an impressionist. The only decent impression he can do is of a man with no talent. <laughs> What's it called, Baldrick? The Vomiting Cavalier? <laughs> no, sir, that's not supposed to be vomit. It's dabs of light. No, it's vomit. <laughs> so, uh, why did you choose that? You told me to, sir. Did I? Yeah, you told me to paint whatever comes from within. So I did my breakfast. <laughs> Look, there's a little tomato. Goodness. If only I'd paid attention in nursery art class instead of spending my entire time manufacturing papier-mâché willies to frighten Sarah Wallace. <laughs> you know, it's funny, but painting was the only thing I was ever any good at. Well, it's a pity you didn't keep it up. Well, as a matter of fact, I did, actually. I mean, I mean, I, I, normally, of course, I wouldn't show them to anyone because they're just embarrassing daubs, really. But, you know, I, they give me pleasure. I'm embarrassed to show them to you now, as, as, as it happens. But there you go. I, for what they're worth, to be honest, I really should, should have my hands cut off. I mean... George, these are brilliant. Why didn't you tell us about these before? Well, you know, it doesn't like to blow one's own trumpet. You might at least have told us you had a trumpet. <laughs> These paintings could spell my way out of the trenches. Yours? That's right, ours. <laughs> All we have to do is paint something heroic to appeal to the simple-minded Tommy. Over to you, Baldrick. Um, how about a noble Tommy standing with a look of horror and disgust over the body of a murdered nun <laughs> who's been brutally done over by a nasty old German? <laughs> Excellent. I, I, I can see it now. The nun... And the hum. <laughs> no time to lose. George, set up your easel. Baldrick and I will pose. This is going to be art's greatest moment since Mona Lisa sat down and told Leonardo da Vinci she was in a slightly odd mood. <laughs> Baldrick, you lie down in the mud and be the nun. I'm not lying down there. It's all wet. Well, let's put it this way. Either you lie down and get wet or you're knocked down and get a broken nose. <laughs> Actually, it's not that wet, is it? No. <laughs> Who are you going to be then, sir? The noble Tommy? Precisely. Standing over the body of the ravaged nun. I want a wimple. Well, you should have gone before we started the picture. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, my father was a nun. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He was so, sir. I know, because whenever he was up in court and the judge used to say occupation, he'd say nun. <laughs> right, you ready? Oh, just about, sir, yes. Um, if you'd just like to pop your clothes on the stool. <laughs> I'm sorry? Just pop your clothes on the stool over there. You mean, you want me tackle out? <laughs> well, so, so, yes. If I can remind you of the realities of battle, George, one of the first things that everyone notices is that all the protagonists have got their clothes on. <laughs> Neither we nor the Hun favour fighting our battles au naturel. <laughs> Sir, it's, it's artistic licence. It's, it's willing suspension of disbelief. Well, I'm not having anyone staring in disbelief at my willy suspension. <laughs> now, get on and paint the bloody thing sharpish. 